also, you know, to evaluate the ribs, you can palpate the ribs anteriorly and posteriorly. And then, go ahead and take a deep breath for me. Does that hurt? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So, she has pain um, on inhalation. And that usually means that there's um, an um, exhalation dysfunction, so it's stuck in exhalation. And if you can palpate the rib, you feel that the rib seems to be um, so when you palp feels different. So you feel the, the pain. The I mean, so basically, it seems to be the same same rib where she's got the pain. She's got yeah. pain anterior and she's and got posterior. pain posterior. And it, and it radiates all the way to the back. And it radiates, yeah. So and, and this began after she was sitting in church and bent, and something fell out of her Bible and she bent over to pick up whatever fell out yeah. and sudden onset of severe pain. Correct. So we can try to see if we can relocate that. Tell you what, do me a favor, pull your arms right across like that. Next. That one right there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a fist and I wanna go ahead and create a fulcrum right there at that rib. Okay. Okay, lay straight on your back. Try to relax. Okay. So what exactly are you doing? So I'm I'm making a fulcrum point so that my leverage is right at that uh, at the rib below that okay so your hand is in a fist on her back yeah on right? her back right at the rib or actually at the rib but intercostal state uh, space right below that relax your hand for me i'm going to go ahead and flex her neck a little bit so you're flexing her you're flexing relax, her neck relax your relax your neck just let it fall and relax deep breath in Again, deep breath in. Can you put that can, actually, I can feel that rib kind of moving. You can? Yeah. Yep. Relax. Are you, are you putting pressure on, I mean, are you putting weight on her? I'm kind of putting a little bit of weight on her, trying to maximize the leverage at that fulcrum point. Okay. Okay, okay deep breath in and out. Again, trying to get it to relax. Again. One more time, relax. Breathe in really deeply and let it all out. Now, let it not go. Okay, again, deep breath in and out. Now, are you wait, are you in. trying to have it done? Is is there any time any issue with the timing of her breathing? Yeah, you want to go ahead and uh, thrust uh, as she's most relaxed at the peak of exhalation. Deep breath in, in all the way, and try to just relax your muscles as you exhale. <clears throat> okay. Now have you, do you ever lay, do you ever have her lay on her abdomen? Yeah, that's and the then, next thing I want to try. Go ahead okay. and do me a favor and lay on your stomach for me. Now, um, she's, ma'am, you don't, you don't mind once you cover her up, just make sure she's not exposed. Uh, her face is going to be blurred. These these videos do end up on YouTube, um, okay. but um, as far as you're you're okay with me mm -hmm. with this procedure, okay. It's right there, right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what so I'm going to do is so I'm going to do a little soft tissue technique, try to get that muscle to relax. Dr. Solis is an osteopathic physician. Um, they get some additional training in manipulation of ribs and extremities. So what are your hands doing exactly? I'm just kind of trying to get that muscle to relax. Are they spreading? Are you, are you stretching opposite directions? You know, yeah, I'm stretching opposite directions. 
applying a little pressure, trying to get those muscles to relax. Deep breath in, and let it out. Again, in, let it out. Again, in, let it out. Again, in, and out. Oh, I thought, of, did I hear a pop? Do you feel any? I didn't feel a pop. One more time, okay? In, and out, relax, in, and out. When ribs sublex, Rick, um, do they sublex up or does sublex down? Well, do, do we know for sure? I mean, obviously, no one can X-ray this, and this won't show no, up. On you know, in, in osteopathy, we, we speak of ribs in inhalation dysfunction or exhalation dysfunction. So it can actually be stuck either mm -hmm. up or down. Okay. Uh, and depending, if it's a group of ribs that you that you have. Depending on whether it's in inhalation dysfunction or exhalation dysfunction, the key ribs either going to be the most inferiorly or the most superiorly um, uh, superior rib of the group. Is that as tender as it was? No. I'll sit you up real quick and see. I, I never felt. I thought I heard something pop. Did you? I, okay. Now, let's the, fir see the first I time is that like when I said something yeah, pop? Yeah. Okay. Alright, now, let's see, let's get you to kind of rotate you back compared to before. A little bit better. Right, so she take a deep breath. That's a little bit better. Mm -hmm. the other one. So you have a little bit more, more motion. Deep breath for me. How's that? Mm -hmm. Better? So you're not hurting so, on the front, you're not hurting on the front, and you're not hurting on the back? I think you fixed her, Rick. I think that, I think we both heard a pop that... Yeah, I didn't. And sometimes you don't get to, you know, satisfaction of the pop or the crunch. Um, but, oh, you know, obviously I guess you may have come in. So, you're welcome, man. <laughs> so, ma'am, are you feeling better? Oh, yes. Okay, so that worked. Oh, yes. Good enough.